You may still call him Marky Mark, but he's come a long way since then. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe f yourself. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Mark Wahlberg performances. It's my brother. He's your brother. No shit, these are my brothers. Number 10, Bobby Mercer, Four Brothers. The Pope Wells is here! Y'all better run, man, these white cops are crazy! This movie is full of action, as Wahlberg plays the oldest of four adopted kids who want revenge after their mother's murder. My name is Bobby Mercer. Some of you probably knew my mother, and some of you probably know she was shot about a week ago across the street. Wahlberg is in your face and explosive as a man willing to do whatever it takes to avenge her slaying. Look at that, Jerry. He's a nice big red handprint, huh? Just ask him the question. Come on. No, I'm gonna do it again ah! and again until I, I find out what I want to know. His chemistry and ease with the other guys makes it almost believable that they grew up in the same house. He's the bright spot and most memorable part of this ultra-violent vigilante flick. You think he did? Nah, he ain't dead. He's just f***ed up. Let's go talk to him now. Number 9. Mickey, The Basketball Diaries What am I, hallucinating here? Pedro, come on, you're gonna get us caught. The cops are gonna come. From Calvin Klein model to teenage junkie, Wahlberg plays one of Leonardo DiCaprio's basketball team members and fellow addicts in one of his first gritty roles. Is he dead? Of course he's f***ing dead, he fell six stories! But he also adds lightness to the film, balancing DiCaprio's tortured nature by talking him into doing some dumb stuff. Hey, I'm going, watch out, watch out. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Yeah! An unexpected role for Wahlberg at the time, it proved to critics that he possessed actual acting skills underneath all those muscles, and gave us an early taste of his range. Don't make me do it! I'll do it, I swear to God! Number 8. Vince Papali, Invincible Welcome to the Eagles. This is the perfect underdog story, as Wahlberg portrays true-life 30-year-old bartender turned Philadelphia Eagles football player, Vince Papali. Number 83, Vince Papali, Philadelphia Eagles! He manages to make us feel as if Papali was the guy we all knew growing up, and we wanted to see him succeed just because he was so damn likable and determined. You're a freaking eagle, aren't you? Philadelphia Eagle! The overall movie is just so-so, but Wahlberg's performance is one of his most personal. Thanks. Number 7. Charlie Croker, The Italian Job Let's get to work. As the head of a team of thieves, Wahlberg shows he can play both a thinking character as well as an action star. <laughs> Surprised? Charlie Croker's revenge fantasy against a former friend and double-crosser drives the film's plot, but it's Wahlberg's easy on-screen demeanor and leadership among the chaos that shines through most. She's emotional. You know what happens when emotion gets into it. Look, don't kid yourself, all right? We're all emotional on this one. The movie is one of Wahlberg's highest-grossing films to date, and it's easy to see why. You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fuss. Number six, John Bennett, Ted. Rah! <laughs> Who lives here? I'm coming to get whoever lives here. You owe me lobster money. <laughs> That's my buddy Johnny, not the lobster, the guy running it. Ted is one of those movies with a completely ridiculous plot, but somehow Wahlberg makes it work. Who else could take a character that talks to a teddy bear, works a dead-end job, and is a perpetual man-boy, and make him appealing? Did you really just fart? Yeah, but I pushed it that way with my hand. I wonder who it's gonna hit first. Do not <gasps> add up. Who did this to us? God damn it, I'm here on business! Playing straight man to Seth MacFarlane's cuddly cusser, it's Wahlberg's best comedic role to date, as he takes an immature subject matter and makes it decidedly for adults only. You know, uh, Laurie would hate me for saying this, but, you know, she told me how you are at the office. And as one gentleman to another, I just want to say, I really hope you f***ing get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> Number five, David McCall, Fear. You should have allowed nature to take its course. In the end, it will anyway. So let me in the f***ing house! 
Here's a young Wahlberg at his finest and creepiest as Reese Witherspoon's obsessive older boyfriend. While this flick has the plot of a lifetime movie, Mark's balance of crazy and caring are anything but made for TV. He even kills the family dog. That's a good boy. <laughs> this character seems so far from Wahlberg's personality, which makes it that much more interesting and chilling to watch. <laughs> Number four, Sergeant First Class Troy Barlow, Three Kings. A f***ing tank! That should send us on our way! Wahlberg's turn as this soldier is one of the best regarded roles of his career. And why not? He's the heart and soul of the film. I need to know the number. What number, please? Operation Desert Storm? I'm sorry. I need to know the number. The big army in the desert. Come on, it's an emergency. Playing one of three members of the armed forces involved with a gold heist in Iraq following the Gulf War, Wahlberg has several memorable on-screen moments, but the most powerful comes when he's being tortured. He realistically acts like a seasoned vet would, as his character is forced to do unspeakable acts. Number three, Mickey Ward, the fighter. I'm the one fighting, okay? Not you, not you, and not you. Playing characters based on real people is tough, but it didn't phase Wahlberg as he portrayed boxer Mickey Ward. I told everybody I was gonna win that fight and get back on track. I told my daughter I was gonna get a bigger apartment so she could move in. You don't think I wanted to call you? I was embarrassed, I mean. To achieve realism, Wahlberg trained for over four years to get a boxer's build and did his own stunts to add to the authenticity. His dedication paid off and Wahlberg gave an emotionally raw and action-packed performance. He didn't win an Oscar like his two supporting actors, but he was the film's heart. It was a pride of Lone Nail, right there. That's how it's meant to be, you know? And it down to nothing better than that. Nothing better than that. Number two, Staff Sergeant Sean Dignam, The Departed. What's the matter, smart ass? You don't know any Shakespeare? Even though it's only a supporting part, Wahlberg's turn as Sergeant Dignam is one of the most commanding roles he's taken. I'm the best friend you have on the face of this earth, and I'm gonna help you understand something, you punk. You're no fing cop. His no-nonsense approach and in-charge demeanor make a lasting impression for the brief moments he is on screen. His ability to switch back and forth between comedic and dramatic roles has only improved over the years, and this movie perfectly showcases how much he's matured as an actor. My theory on feds is they're like mushrooms. Feed them shit and keep them in the dark. The girls have a good day. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Okay. She won't stay and share uh, this with me. Tell, tell me what that is. It's important. I mean, I see it so clearly. Yeah. You use petroleum, you're a murderer. That's right. a fact. I can't stand the idea of anybody not liking me, okay? There, I said it. The truth. That's the truth. Don't buy that ticket. What do you think? You're coming with me. <laughs> That's a wooden gun. Oh! It hurts, man! Number one, Eddie Adams, also known as Dirk Diggler, Boogie Nights. You got the touch. You got the power. Only Wahlberg has the personality and acting chops to take on a role of a porn star who's at once funny, vulnerable, and sexy. Is everything cool? It's going great. We just gotta change the angle. Does it, does it, look, does it look sexy? Oh, it's great. As Dirk Diggler, an average guy with a not-so-average package, Mark is convincing as an innocent sucked into the world of sex. Well, if you just want to see me jack off, it's 10, but if you just want to look at it, it's only 5. You guys pay to watch the TV? Yeah. This truly is Wahlberg's breakout movie, as he's often cited as the film's bright spot in a role that's shocking, comical, sad, and sex-fueled all at the same time. Do you agree with our list? 
What's your favorite Mark Wahlberg performance? <sighs> My dick is squished by the TV. <laughs> For more memorable top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. No way, Alan. I'm out. I'm done. Thank <music> you.